Hey guys, Rich Paul here, and I'm back here in Hollywood, California, where I got uh, Ryan Blair, who's joined me. We're at his uh, Hollywood penthouse up here, and uh, I'm very excited to get a chance to tell you guys a little bit uh, about my mentor and now dear friend. You know, we learned a lot of lessons today, and one of the uh, common lessons that I heard from a lot of the people that we interviewed is you become who you surround yourself with. And I just chose to uh, surround myself with individuals like Ryan Blair, who I got a chance to meet now, going on 10 years ago. I'm absolutely privileged that he's my mentor and now uh, one of my best friends so uh, I want the viewers to get a, real, uh, a chance to know the Ryan uh, the way that I know him so not necessarily the Ryan that's in front of thousands of people or the Ryan that's uh, uh, in front of camera on uh, you know MSNBC or on Donny Deutsch or um, talking with uh, w whichever successful entrepreneur but the uh, behind the scenes uh, Ryan who's uh, who's Ryan really in uh, in his home so if you want to share some words, and again, I appreciate you uh, getting getting a chance to. Uh, yeah, with us. I, I mean, Rich and I go back. Uh, I affectionately call him like my little brother. We go back ten years. He used to steal copies out of my office, <laughs> um, and uh, I got into network marketing and Vaisalis because of Rich, his team, the people that that he surrounded himself with. I thought they were really ambitious, aspiring entrepreneurs, and so I partnered with two of his very best friends too, uh, Nick and Blake, and. Uh, yeah, so Rich has been instrumental in everything that we've done over the past 10 years. Very cool. Um, you know, uh, we learned a lot of lessons and I'm willing to bet, you know, I've obviously learned a lot uh, from you over the last 10 years, but um, if you could give us a couple key um, lessons or a couple key points that have helped you, obviously for those of you guys that don't know his story, you know, you didn't, you didn't come from a, a, a rich background, you didn't come from uh, money, you did it yourself, you had all the odds stacked against you, but yet you're, uh, you're a great success and one of the nation's uh, um, you know, uh, most successful entrepreneurs right now. What were some of the things that helped you? What were some of the challenges that you had to overcome? And maybe what are some key points that you want to give to uh, some of these viewers that helped you uh, yeah. become who you are? Uh, number one would be focus. Um, focus, uh, you know, if you do something really good, focus on that and continue doing it until you accumulate enough momentum and activity to where you start to you know, really generate results over and over. Um, it, nothing is, uh, it's not that I'm some genius or I have some, you know, uh, uh, you know, giant IQ or anything like that. It's just, you know, you create a system, you focus on it, you know, there's a formula for it and, and you build from there. That's great. That's great. And I know that's that my helicopter right now picking me up. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. So I have a very, very short period of time here. I know you're extremely busy and I know that you just uh, came out with a book recently uh -huh. and uh, you got a big publisher now. If you want to tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, you know, having uh, just a, a high school education. You know, I, I, I dropped out of high school my freshman year. Um, and then I later went on to go to school and, and, you know, and go to college and so forth. But the irony of actually writing a book, right, it was always a goal of mine. Uh, I finally sat down and did it. And then, uh, you know, I got lucky enough to have Penguin uh, give me a book deal. And, you know, and um, so uh, the next one comes out in July of uh, 2011, and then after that I want to write uh, romance novels. <laughs> romance novels. That's my goal. And if someone wants to pick up a copy of uh, Nothing to Lose, where do they go? Uh, nothingtolose.com. Nothingtolose.com. There it is, folks. So again, we learned a lot of powerful le lessons. I'm absolutely privileged to get a chance to, you know, um, uh, see you behind the scenes and not in front of thousands of people. I know, uh, you know, we've been involved in business for quite a few years now and we talk, you know, on a daily basis, sometimes 10 times a day, uh, but sometimes uh, you know, we don't often get a chance to kind of reflect on, you know, uh, what, where we were 10 years ago and more importantly, you know, where we're going to be going over the next 10 years. So I really appreciate you taking that time. Any last bits of advice for anyone that's either starting their entrepreneurship career or has maybe already been involved and looking to take it to the next level or go pro like yeah, your yeah. mentor had said? Uh, get a mentor. So I have mentors this day. Uh, uh, this morning I was on the phone with Bob Gergen, and you know one of the one of the greatest things I ever get to hear is him say "good job," right? Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, get a mentor. Surround yourself with the best people you possibly can, but don't um, uh, you know pick any mentor that's better at you than what you want to do. Um, you're not looking for a life guru or some sort of you know person to actually you know give you the, the secret recipe to fulfillment, right? Mm -hmm. You're looking for someone to teach you. Uh, in business what you want to do. So if I wanted to be in the apparel business, I get a mentor that was an expert at that. If I want to be in network marketing, surround yourself with leadership and mentorship because you'll you'll get to success if you have the right people behind you. That's absolutely key and you guys heard it over and over again. It's not a coincidence that all these successful entrepreneurs have nailed it right on the head and said you become who you surround yourself with. Find a mentor. I'm just so privileged to have you as a mentor and now best friend. I appreciate yeah. everything that you do and I look forward to uh, many years ahead. Yep. He's a good host too. 
too. And this guy's got some hosting skills. You see that? Thank you. That, uh, no, I mean, I'm proud of you. I've, you know, I've been with the best of them, man. So you got the next Oprah here. Yes. <laughs> Anchor talk? Yes. <laughs> no, you can, this is this. Not, I didn't sign off on this. Can you, this is what they'll release. Like, <laughs> but, but this, but this is really bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rich, do not let them manipulate you into this. But this is what I'm looking for.